Welcome to Sergei's Chemistry. Today we are looking at reaction of magnesium metal with water, with cold water and with hot water vapor. With cold water reaction supposed to be rather slow, but magnesium is high enough in reactivity series and we expect something to happen. Let's take magnesium turnings and cover them with distilled water. No signs of reaction are immediately visible, but if you wait for a few minutes, you can see metal pieces are covered with bubbles of some gas which rises up from time to time. This is hydrogen. Another product is magnesium hydroxide, which is slightly soluble in water, turning solution alkaline. If I take an indicator, phenolphthalein, yes, it turns violet, confirming alkalinity. If I take pieces of metal and just put them in distilled water with few drops of phenolphthalein, that's the picture I would see. Solution around the metal pieces turns alkaline, as metal reacts with water. But maybe there is some contamination on the surface of the metal. Let's remove alkalinity with a drop of hydrochloric acid. If we leave it standing, we see how the color Violet color returns. Alkalinity is being produced as metal reacts with water. And magnesium hydroxide is formed. But magnesium hydroxide is not very soluble in water and it blocks excess of water to the metal piece. Reaction slows down and it's very slow indeed. How to speed it up? With high temperature. But water cannot be heated up higher than 100 degrees. Let's use vapor therefore. Vapor we can heat up at any temperature we wish. Here I have cotton wool soaked with water and magnesium turnings in the middle of the test tube. I have to heat them up for quite a while. If I'm careful with my heating of the cotton wool, it's not going to decompose. As soon as it remains wet, temperature never rises higher than 100 degrees. I have to wait for a minute or two appearance of first signs of the reaction. Reaction is exothermic and it would support itself. I can regulate the rate of reaction by putting fire under the cotton wool. Magnesium oxide is formed and hydrogen gas, which we can light up. Here is a jet of the gas. White substance is magnesium oxide. The rule of thumb is that when metal reacts with cold water, hydroxide is formed. When metal reacts with hot water vapor, oxide is formed. Hydroxide would decompose at these high temperatures. But it looks like that magnesium is used up. Any more hydrogen? Nothing. Reaction is essentially stopped. Test tube is destroyed, there are some cracks in it, and I can just take it open. White stuff inside is obviously magnesium oxide. The same magnesium oxide is formed when magnesium burns in air or oxygen. But what is this black stuff at the bottom of the test tube? Test tube is made out of silicon dioxide mainly, and magnesium is a strong reducing agent. It reduces silicon to its elementary form, and pure silicon is black. That's a side reaction, which takes place when magnesium reacts with glass at high temperatures. Thank you for watching. Please give likes to the video, subscribe to the channel, and see you next time. Bye.